But if the faster runner is one of your good mates, then you've got the chance to join them on some of their training runs. In which case, you've got an opportunity to massively improve your own running. Here are five ways that you can join a faster runner or faster runners and not get totally left behind. Number one, warm up and cool down together. Now this should be done at an easy pace for both you and the faster runner. So hopefully you should be able to do some, if not all, of the warm up together. This is also a good opportunity to talk about the upcoming session, what they're doing, what you're going to be doing and see if there's any tips or advice that you can get before you start your main session. On the cool down, this can be a good opportunity to reflect on what you've just done, see where you could improve next time and maybe get some additional pointers if you've done a bit of a session together. It's also a good opportunity if maybe you're a more inexperienced runner to follow along with some drills and some pre-running or pre-session routines that you might be able to factor in to your own runs in the future. If you and the faster runner are doing intervals, consider doing them to time. Two minutes is two minutes regardless of the effort level that you're able to put in or they're able to put in. Just make sure you've got an idea of where you're running. So ideally a shorter loop so that you can both agree a, a starting place and a finishing place so that you can finish roughly at the same time and roughly in the same place. But timed intervals are a great way for you both to get in the intensity of your session without the other person either having to work too hard or be held back during the intervals. Okay, ready for the first one? Let's go. Okay, two minutes, let's go. Number three, loop backs. If the faster runner needs to push on a little bit or you're struggling to sort of run together at an intensity that works for both of you, then you can consider the faster runner running on ahead and at a certain point just looping back around to join you back on your run. This can work well, particularly if you're running on hilly trails where it can be a bit difficult to sometimes regulate the intensity or if you're doing longer runs where the faster runner needs to push on a little bit or cover a little bit more distance. So loopbacks are a really good way of being able to run together, particularly over longer distances or on hillier trails and terrain. Number four, hill repeats. So great for building leg strength and for working on your running form. And a bit like the timed intervals, if you do these to time, then you should be able to be in a position where you and the faster runner both finish and start at the same time. This is also a good opportunity, again, to look at the faster runner and their running form and their technique, not just on ascending the hills, but also when they're descending as well. Number five, cat and mouse. So this is a, a good session that you can do all year round, but you find it works particularly well sort of during the winter months when maybe you're not training for anything specific, but you just wanna keep the intensity up and keep the motivation high. So this works best if you've got two loops, a longer loop and the option of a shorter loop. And you both start at the same time, the faster runner doing the longer loop and the slower runner doing the shorter loop, with the idea being that the slower runner, the mouse, stays ahead of the cat for as long as possible. Now it might take a little bit of time to 
find a loop that sort of works in a way that allows you to eventually be caught or nearly caught but not caught too soon but you can build this up over a number of weeks and kind of see how your fitness particularly as the slower runner is progressing how long can you stay out ahead of the cat before being caught so there are five ways that you as a possibly slower runner can train alongside a faster runner warming up and cooling down together timed intervals loop backs hill repeats and throwing in some fun games like cat and mouse but most importantly training and running alongside other people can make it more fun can make it more motivating and can mean that both you and them can push your limits and keep improving in your training and your running so thank you for watching if you've got any thoughts or comments about how you train and run alongside others whether you're the faster runner or the slower runner drop them down below give the video a like a comment and if you haven't done so already hit that subscribe button for more running training and racing videos take care and i'll see you in the next one soon <laughs> nice <laughs> is it running do I have to press anything? No, it's Hang on, I can't see it. <laughs> okay, Homer Simpson. <laughs> Go.